with Samsung finally announcing their January 14th, 2021 event tagline, welcome to the Everyday Epic. We have a few ideas of what is expected. What's up guys, my name is Tato and today we will try to unpack what Samsung is set to unpack for us. So Samsung is set to reveal to us three devices which will be the S21, S21 Plus and the S21 Ultra. All three of these devices will have the hole punch Infinity O design with Dynamic AMOLED and Gorilla Gloss Victus aka Gorilla Gloss 7 which we also saw on the Note 20 Ultra last year. We are also expecting for Samsung to finally drop its curves as the S21 and the S21 Plus will have a flat front panel and the Note 21 Ultra will be the only one with have slight curves on the side. In terms of the resolution, we are expecting to see full HD for the S21 and the S21 Plus and we'll be getting Quad HD on the S21 Ultra. These displays will all have an adaptive refresh rate of up to 120 hertz, which is going to be great for gaming or fast moving objects if you like watching sports and movies on your mobile devices. Moving on to the back of the device and probably what compels most people to upgrade to the latest and greatest, the camera. Samsung is giving us four cameras on the S21 and the S21 Plus models. Three of the cameras at the back will be a 12 megapixel primary camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 64 megapixel telephoto camera. This is similar to what we saw last year on the 20 models, but I'm pretty sure there are software improvements that will process and produce better images. The front facing camera on the other side will be a 10 megapixel camera. On the Big Boy Ultra model, we are going to see a camera module with a primary camera of 108 megapixels. Jeez. 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 10 megapixel telephoto camera alongside a 10 megapixel periscope camera with 10 times optical zoom. This is packaged alongside a 40 megapixel selfie camera and that's a huge, huge shout out to the vlog. These are all big numbers and I'm interested in seeing what the image processing is going to be like, particularly because of my next point. Uh, so we recently saw this with the iPhone 12 where other other reason other regions were getting the iPhone 12 with the millimeter wave 5G antenna and some regions like where I am we didn't get that 5G millimeter wave antenna Samsung is doing something similar here where other regions are going to be getting the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 and other regions are going to be getting the Samsung Exynos 2100 so we don't know what the performance is like for those processors but I'm really Really, really really excited to see what the performance is going to be like so one of the biggest rumors about this event is that this lineup of Samsung devices is actually following in Apple's footsteps you will not be getting a charger and earphones in the box with your new Samsung s21 devices this is a bit of a sore and a touchy subject for most but I think it's something that we're going to get used to over time the argument is environmental issues and probably cutting costs, but I don't think it really matters because you're probably going to be buying a charger anyway for your device. Speaking of charging and battery life, we know that the S21 will come with the smallest battery with a 4000 milliamp hour battery with the S21 Plus at 4800 milliamp hours worth of battery life and the Ultra coming in at 5000 milliamp hours worth of of battery life. Another big rumor about this lineup of devices is that for the first time in a long time, Samsung is not including an SD card slot on the devices. Uh, I don't know how much that is going to matter to you as the storage options are going to be good either way. Looking at the RAM of the devices, you're going to get 8 gigs of RAM on the S21 and the S21 Plus and you're going to get 12 gigs of RAM on the Ultra model. 
all models are going to come with 128 gigabytes of storage with another option of 256 gigabytes of storage the ultra is going to get its special variant where they are going to offer you 512 gigabytes of storage so i don't know you'll tell me on the comments down below whether that sd card issue is going to be an actual issue for you pricing this is only going to apply to people who are in south africa and are looking to buy the device on contract you are going to get the s21 from as little as 699 rand there's a huge caveat there's a huge caveat to what i'm about to say you're going to get it from as little as 699 a month and the s21 plus from 799 per month and the s21 ultra from 999 per month this is all going to be on a 36 month contract aka payment plan so that kind of gives you an indication of how much the phone is actually going to cost once it lands in South Africa. But yeah, I don't know. Tell me what you think on the comments down below. This is going to be it from me today. And just go have a good day, bro.